What's up, Sagittarius? We're gonna be doing your timeless love reading. I'm excited. Okay, so we're gonna do what's in your head, what's in your heart, what's in your soul for you and your person, the current situation and the obstacle you guys are facing. We'll do the actual spread itself with Crystal Visions Tarot, clarifiers with spellcasters, and at the end, I'll pull the famous Romance Angel Oracle cards. Guys, I have 50% off personal readings for the month of May. You want a personal reading? Check it out in the description box down below. Just click on my website, scroll to the bottom, shoot me an email, and let me know you heard about the 50% off through YouTube after you've subscribed to the channel. Um, also, if you want more videos outside of the quick love spreads and the quick weekly readings, I do monthly readings, energy shift readings, moon cycle readings, crystal readings, etc. On Patreon, you get over 12 hour long readings for $12 for the whole month. And if you go to a higher tier for 33 bucks, you can get well over 20 readings, right? Um, which are all cheaper than one personal reading. So I would check it out. It's a good bang for your buck. And it's just a monthly subscription and we do a lot of cool live chats together and we talk about a shit ton of stuff regarding tarot, spirituality, energy, cool stuff. So let's get into it, Sag. Oh my gosh, I just blew out my candle, my protection candle of all things. We back. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> Show me what I need to see for Sagittarius. Wow, I've done six readings and that hasn't happened once. Sag, what's going on with you? Show me what I need to see for Sagittarius in regards to love and romance, please. What's going on with Sagittarius in regards to love and romance, please, spirit? Show me what I need to see for head, heart, and soul for my Sag. Show me what I need to see for head. Ooh, Knight of Cups. Show me what I need to see for head, heart, soul for my Sagittarius. Head, heart, soul. Head, heart, soul situation obstacle okay so you got some confusion yeah a lot of confusion between you two it looks like a lot of confusion got some drama we got some people who are emotionally detached we have some people who are focused on their own stability and really guarded to the other so there's a lot of confusion between you two a lot of confusion okay so in your head this isn't a stable beginning. It doesn't have a solid foundation. You can't move forward with this connection because it doesn't have a solid foundation. In your person's head, there's drama, there's fighting, there's bickering, just nonsense, right? Power struggles. What's in your heart? You're focused on being grounded, sitting in your power, having your stability, having something that's long-term. You're ready for a serious commitment. Queen of Pentacles is a very long, it's like the perfect partner card. You're the perfect partner, <laughs> okay? Just to let you know. You're the perfect partner. Meanwhile, your person's moping. They're crying. They're upset. Uh, I feel bad for them. I do, but they feel kind of immature at the same time, which is kind of why I'm being rude. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's in your soul, you're guarded. You're very defensive toward them, probably because they're drama and immaturity. What's in their soul is they want to move forward. Six of Swords. Six of Swords isn't turning your back to something, right? It's turning your back to things that no longer serve you. It's moving towards balance. It's moving towards stability, right? Because six is about balance. <clears throat> the current situation, the Fool in Reverse. To have a new beginning or not, because you both see it as a risk. You don't think it's stable and they think that there's a lot of drama, okay? So to the, both of you, you both want it, but it's also a risk. Oh, and what's the obstacle? A brand new cycle. Hmm. Hmm. I'm eager. You have two major arcana for the current situation and the obstacle. That means a lot of divine timing is at work. That means it's a very spiritual connection. It means that the universe is doing this for a reason. That you're in this connection to learn a lesson, to grow as individuals, to move forward on your soul path. Whether that be together or apart. Which is obviously a decision with the full of reverse because you both see it as a risk. Okay, let's answer your clarifiers, spellcasters. I'm gonna link all the decks in the description box down below. What's going on with Sagittarius in regards to love and romance? What's going on for Sagittarius, spirit, in regards to love and romance, head, heart, and soul, please, spirit? Wow, the tower and the ace of wands were just there when I split the deck. You have the ace of wands every time with a major arcana card. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here in Sagittarius's head? 
Why does Sag have the Ace of Pentacles in their head? What's this Ace of Pentacles about for my Sag? What's this Ace of Pentacles about for Sagittarius? Thank you, Spirit. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you want to work together to create a solid foundation and you just don't see it, but you're willing to put in the work. You're willing to work with them because you want the stability and you know it's not there. You know this needs to be done. I like your energy. You really are the perfect partner. That's what you feel like. You're very logical. You know what's wrong, but you're also guarded because your person's acting very impulsive, very childish. Um, tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Why is this? Empress and Temperance. Hmm. You're learning how to give and take your energy. That's the lesson here. Learning how to nurture yourself more than how you invest in your person. Because even though you're the perfect partner, the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress go kind of hand in hand for me. They're very similar. And if you watch some other videos, I say this a lot. They're very similar in energy. The Empress is the, the woman who doesn't need anybody but herself. She is stable. She is independent. She is abundant. She is loving. She is motherly. She is nurturing. She's Venusian. She's the goddess of Venus, the goddess of love. Queen of Pentacles is abundant, is nurturing, is motherly, is grounded, is long-term, is stable, right? But she's not the queen of love, meaning that she might be great at stability, which you're showing up with a lot of pentacles here, but are you good at nurturing yourself with the empress in reverse and temperance here? Temperance is all about balance, the give and take, the ebb and flow in relationships, right? This is telling you that you need to learn the balance of what energetically you give to the connection and what energetically you keep for yourself. So that's the lesson here with this person. That's your lesson with them. Now let's see why the Seven of Wands is here in your soul. Why are you defensive? Why are you guarded? Sorry, I don't think I showed it to you. I could hear you asking to see it. Wow, don't get sassy now. Why is the Seven of Wands here for my Sag? Why is the Seven of Wands here for Sag? What we got? Oh, snap. <laughs> I can't. You're guarded. Even if they came in with an offer of love, you're guarded. <laughs> Even if they came in and offered you the stable offer of love, you are guarded. You don't trust them. And also, it's like you feel how strong the connection is, and it's like you're dropping it. You're like, eh. That's how guarded, how blocked you are to it. You don't really want to drop it, though. You're being self-deceptive. <laughs> You're being really self-deceptive because you both want this new beginning in love. You both want this stable beginning and they're going to approach you with it. But here you are. No, I don't want it. I'm done with this. And it's because, I'm sorry, but it's because you didn't get it when you wanted it. This is a surrender for you. This is learning to surrender. That some things aren't gonna happen when we want them to. And we have to learn how to continue, how to persevere, even when they aren't happening yet. And I say yet because it's still gonna happen. It's still gonna happen. I strongly feel it's still gonna happen. But the universe wants you, in order to have this strong connection, this very strong connection with the lovers here, very freaking strong spiritual based connection, and with a two major arcana in the middle, the universe wants you to learn how to nurture yourself before you can have a connection like this. Because to have a very strong spiritual connection, you have to have an understanding of that ebb and flow, the give and take, the giving and receiving of energy equally, knowing when to put your foot down and knowing when to give. And although you're the perfect partner, you're very grounded and stable and you're very nurturing to people around you, but are you nurturing to your own detriment? Okay. Some of you have to be dealing with a Leo, very similar to a Leo reading. Show me what I need to see for Sag. Well, you both are fire, kind of makes sense. Show me what I need to see. Why is the five of wands here for Sag's soulmate? And guys, you can flip these if you think they're opposite, okay? Show me what the five of wands is about. I do strongly feel this is you though. <clears throat> Tell me about the five of wands. Sorry, cross watchers, if I called you childish. It's just, it feels like that. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles. They're not putting energy in. 
<laughs> they're not putting energy in to make this grow. They're not nurturing the relationship. That's why you need to learn this lesson to stop investing so much in it because it's just causing conflict and drama because they can feel that you're getting irritated, that they're not doing their part, but they're being lazy and immature. They're like, uh-uh, I don't want to do it yet. I'm just not in the spot to do it. Nope. And it's just them being immature. It's them needing to grow up. Tell me more about the five of wands. Yeah, so basically we're dead on with this. You need to learn how to not give so much energy when people aren't investing the same amount of effort to nurturing something that you are. Okay? Because that's what's creating this drama between you both. Because they can feel how irritated you're getting that you're not receiving what you're giving. Tell me more about the five of wands for my Sag. Why is the five of wands here for Sag? Sagittarius. Yeah, they don't want to give up their freedom. They don't want to give up their freedom. That's the lesson they're learning, that it's not giving up your freedom, okay? They see this as, I want to be single. This is too much drama. But they're creating the drama because they're acting childish. But this is a lesson. This is a lesson for both of you. It's for you to learn how much energy to invest in someone who's really not investing that much in you. They're very content with being single. That's in their head. But see what's funny is in their heart, they're moping. <laughs> they're putting on a facade. They're not used to a strong connection. The lovers, right? They're not used to that. And they can feel it because that's on the soul level. Remember, the lovers came out on the soul level. Very strong connection. Why is the four of cups here? Am I taking all of these? Nope, I'm not. I'm going to put them all back. Why is it? Come on, spirit. Please work with me. Show me what I need to see for Sag in regards to the Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here, spirit? Show me what I need to see about the Four of Cups. They want to communicate. They want to be honest in their heart. They want to tell you how they really feel. They want to tell you why they're upset. They want to tell you why they're moping around, why this isn't moving forward, but they're struggling to communicate it freely. Communicate it honestly, which is why bottom of the deck, you get the five of pentacles. They're leaving you out in the cold because they're still trying to figure out how to initiate this conversation. Tell me about the four of cups and the ace of swords spirit for Sage's person. Hangman in limbo. There they are trying to find the answer, looking within, going for enlightenment, the in-between, right? The waiting. Exactly. They're trying to figure out how to communicate this. Why is the six of swords here in Sage's person's soul? The fool. They want to move forward. They want to move forward. They want to take the risk. They want the new beginning. Get the fool in reverse on their soul and as the current situation. That's insane. That's insane. Tell me more about the six of swords. It's a risk to them, but they want to do it. They want to move forward. They're tired with this. Pay attention if you see crows, if you see blackbirds, or if you're a cross watcher specifically, pay attention if you see blackbirds. Specifically a crow. They're just telling me that it is showing up here in the six of swords in their soul or look it up as a spiritual meeting your spirit animal it's a very intuitive um world you freaking kidding me oh my gosh my mind is blown right now look at your current situation the obstacle and look what your person got in their soul your current situation the fool in reverse here and here your obstacle the world <laughs> i can't your person is not the delay because you have your own stuff you need to fix and heal and learn the give and take, but your person is literally the current situation. They're going through a much larger transformation than you are. Don't get on your high horse because you got a lot of work to do too, honey. You got to learn how to love yourself and they got to learn how to take a leap of faith and to trust in the universe and to give into the strong connection to go into this new cycle with you. So let's clarify the fool in the world now. That's incredible. They have the current situation and the obstacle in their soul. With the Six of Swords, movement forward on a soul path, in the soul position. Seven of Swords, they're being self-deceptive. They keep telling themselves they don't want this, that they're happy being single. There's the self-deception, Seven of Swords. They keep telling themselves that, but in their soul, and in their heart, they want the new beginning. They want the new cycle. They want to tell you how upset they are, but they can't because they don't know how to communicate it. <laughs> Your person's struggling. They're on the struggle bus. Tell me about the fool for Sag. Why is the fool here for my Sag? 
Why is the fool here for Sag spirit? Tell me more about the fool for Sagittarius and their soulmate. Tell me more about the fool for Sagittarius and their soulmate spirit. The chariot. There is a movement forward heading toward the victory. And they're being deceptive, but it's bound to happen. It's major arcana. It's universally guided. They're going to have to overcome the, the self-sabotage. They're also trying to convince themselves that this isn't the direction that they're supposed to go in. But um, the universe, because look, they're trying to sneak away from the chariot. Like, no, I don't want it. But the universe is like, yeah, you do. Stop kidding yourself. <laughs> um, let's check out the world. What's this new cycle? Why is the world here for Sag and their soulmate? Why is, oh, wow. Yup, I was waiting. Tower, Four of Wands, King of Cups, Knight of Wands in reverse. There's the transformation, the new cycle, the stability, the opening of the heart chakra, and the end of the player energy. Knight of Wands, they stopped the single energy. They stopped being a player, fooling around, right? Being deceptive. They went through the transformation and entered the new cycle. I can't believe this came out with the world card, guys. So not only are they in a new cycle, but they went through the transformation. They're ready for the stable commitment, and they've opened up their heart. Back. That's crazy. Knight of Wands is the player card, especially in reverse. So they're they're done with that. They're done with that. They went from a Knight of Wands to a King of Cups. I think that's the first cup they had too. Is the King of Cups? Yep. Oh no, Four of Cups. Sorry. Wow, that's a jump. Let's see what's going on for Sag in regards to love and romance, please, Spirit. Show me what I need to see for my Sag. Wow, this was a fun reading though. They were fun to read. You were too, but you're resistant to releasing them and focusing on yourself. And I need you to do that because that's going to be a delay too. It's not just them. That's part of this process. That's part of the delay as well. You need to get into your empress mode so you can bring them in. And to learn to nurture yourself, to love yourself, to care for yourself the way you care for others. Show me what I need to see for Sag. What messages of love, healing, guidance do we have for Sag? I can't get over how self-deceptive they were. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. The only card that came up upright. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. This is the healing, the hangman, the you realizing you need to evolve into the empress, realizing and understanding the ebb and flow, the give and take, learning that balance. That's what the separation is for between you and the soulmate. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. Okay? Religious factors. What did I say? Divine timings at work. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Very strong connection. I love it. Okay. Any final messages for Sag in regards to the spread in front of me? Any final messages in regards to the spread in front of me for my Sagittarius? Please, Spirit. Love yourself first. Okay. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay, guys. I'm just going to end on that note. Huh. Bottom of the deck, make the effort. There's your person's card. So yours is love yourself first. And your person is make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Forgiving and learning and then free yourself. This is a big transformational relationship that you both are in. I don't think you really, I think you might realize it. You feel a little bit intuitive. I think you have a little idea that it's happening for a reason and you're trying to keep your cool. Your person is just kind of chaotic. <laughs> they're going through a lot. They're very resistant because they're so used to being single as a Pringle and being a little player and it's causing some confusion and conflict within them. But you're going to learn because you're already pretty confident. As the Queen of Pentacles, you're already very confident, very stable. But now it's your time to learn how to find that stability and confidence alone, okay? Realizing you don't need a partner. And I can hear you saying, well, I already know I don't need a partner. Okay, there's a difference between knowing you don't need a partner and knowing how to fully love yourself as much as you do when you have a partner, okay? So that's your homework. I love you, Sag. This was a fun reading. Like, share, subscribe. You want a personal reading, they're 50% off. Check out Patreon if you want shit ton more readings that are way longer than this. Okay, guys, I love you and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.